this is Kalima Island. Mm. I know this pandemic has affected us all in some way, and there's a lot of things going on that we cannot control. But I'm here to tell you that we need to control the things we can. And the things we can control is keeping active, thinking positive, and doing it with a smile on our face. Work out our day to keep the virus away by keeping active, thinking positive about the future, and doing it with a smile on our face. Do your part, and I'll continue doing mine. Keep safe, take care. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Extra Time TV. This is Andres Zuklal. I'm going to head it straight into the qualifiers. Uh, we played three games. We have seven points. We drew our last game and now we're going to have to play Barbados. It will be nice for us to get three points. So let's head straight into it. Uh, I'm going to keep my same lineup, folks. And, um, you know, for those of you who are just joining us, as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, blue light protection glasses. You can get that out on the EXCV page. Head over. Um, I think you should get it because for those of you who are at home, you know, with COVID-19, we're a lot more in front of the screens. So that will be great. Also, um, you know, if you're wondering, this is what we're playing. Uh, the PS3 version of uh, the FIFA World Cup game. Uh, so if we get three points in this game, that'll be great. And I'm also wearing my Atletico Madrid jersey. If you want that, it's the Paul, the Paul, the Paul. Kind of now no, you can't see it, but as Trinidadians would say, Depaul. De <laughs> uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check us out. This will be on Twitch, YouTube, and on Facebook Live. And, um, you know, just support us. Head over to our merch store. Um, it's a home game for us. We have to, I think we should win this. It's going to be difficult, but we'll try. Maybe this was tricky in the first game. So let's head into it. Head over to our merch store where you can purchase some EXTV merch to support the channel. And when you purchase that merch, it really helps towards supporting kids who have been suffering from COVID-19. So when you buy, a certain amount of the profits go there. And so it's not just me saying, hey, buy some merch. It really represents. And we have guys like Bravo and Pollard and so on with some nice messages uh, that they gave to EXTV to let you all know some inspiration for you kids and everybody out there to keep yourself physically active. So let's head straight into it. Uh, so, you know, as you all know, this game is very different. Um, you know, physically, the mechanics of the players are very different. I'm actually doing a pretty good job here, <laughs> all jokes considered. Uh, I messed it up the last time. Okay, spoke too soon. Oh, there we go. Completely messed it up towards the end. So, yeah, so, um, the passing is very different. Uh, there's a lot of errors. The, the players progress as the tournament goes along so you can only train players on international windows which is sometimes one or two days so you know we are growing uh, this game is going to be difficult also you know as you can check out our lovely gaming chair here it's very good for your back if you're playing uh, so you know folks uh, this is uh, pretty comfortable as you can see and also my I'm trying out this high-end gaming set you can let me know what the audio is I think it's really good uh, the XPG. Good to see from my store. So let's go. Let's go. Let's head over to the other screen. So yeah, so if we get three points, I think, you know, heading into the last two games, we're safe. I mean, I think we're okay now, but, you know, we are... I, I'm struggling with this. This is very difficult. And I'm playing at the highest level. Um, you know, Barbados has given me a lot of a, a, a really hard time in the first game. Um, and I'm guessing if I'm improving, they're improving. So this game is at the Hazy Crawford. I'm not going to play the beautiful Barcelona type football that everybody wants me to play because this game is hard, folks. It is really hard. I'll try to just chip that in this turn, but the cross is not like it is in the current FIFAs. So, yeah, this game is uh, brutal, folks. Uh, you know, our players are not ranked fairly, I think. I mean, I don't expect them to have Leo Messi type stats, but I have to play where, you know, we kind of control possession. Um, you know, it may not be beautiful, but as I think the way how the game is set up, you know, the players can grow after a while. 
Uh, that's just unnecessary by me there, but uh, I think they grow as the games goes along. So Barbados, their their forward line was really uh, a problem in the last game, and I think the first game ended two one. Edwards. Um, okay, so no overlapping runs. Ooh, not bad folks, not bad. So I'm not going to be as chatty as much because these games are hard. I haven't scored any corners yet, I think. I think I maybe scored one. So let's try a near post run. We have some tall guys in there, Kenwin. So let's try to get it on Kenwin or Stoon. Ah, there we go folks. There we go, 1-0. That's a good start. Stoon John. Stoon the burn. <laughs> Stoon the John, who's coaching uh, and, uh, Anguilla right now. So, he wasn't actively involved in this campaign, I think. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, actually, yes, he was. But uh, you all can let me know in the comment section below. Who was the coach at the time? And how far did we make it in this particular campaign? Obviously, we didn't make it to the World Cup. We only made it once. Although, based on our local media, you would swear that we made it to a boatload of World Cups. And I'm going to say it. I think uh, Terry Fennick was unfairly criticized. A lot of people did not like him, and I think they used that as their barometer to judge him. It was not really sporting. Uh, I mean, we've had many other coaches who uh, did not get us to the World Cup. But for some reason, for him... It's it's awful, um, but Angus Eve is in there now. You know, doing a good job, good relationship with Angus. So let's see. Can they get to it? That was an awful was cross. I'm trying to, to be a bit more dynamic up front, but uh, you know, let me know what you think. You know, as a Toronto Vigo fan, what do you think about our state of football? Um, it's pretty bad, to be honest. Unfortunately, oh boy. this is where we have to be careful. And also the player switching is frustratingly awful. Like sometimes you'll be marking a player and it will just switch. So, you know, we have to play in a very controlled, smart way, not reckless. Um, and hopefully the players that individual statistics build because I can tell you this um, when you play at legendary level you just give them one chance and you're in trouble it's not gonna be pretty but I'll make it work I do not care it's all about the result for me Edwards you see, that's ridiculous. I was running in a straight line. I don't know if maybe it's the mechanics of the game. But we were in total control and just a point that... Oh, come on. Nice. Oh. By the way, the keepers in this game, at least against us, are in sync. Uh, there was a couple games... Like that, you know, I... That should have been 2-0, folks. Paris. So that's another example of the player change. Come on, Jan. So let's calm things down. Use my box. I don't know how much time they allow us. Jan, if you know anybody who knows Jan, you would be hearing him through that crowd. That's the other Williams on the team. So I don't have uh, Jovan Jones. I don't have Sheldon Bato. So I have to work with what I have. So, you know, basically, Mikael Williams is my left back. Here's Williams. Stern John. Has a Let's try a long range. Not bad. We have to try different kinds because we are struggling to create chances. And we're also not finishing well. So, we have to take those chances. And I think, you know, it, the individual stats helps. Because if we're struggling with these games, you know, it's going to be highly stressful if we get to the hex. I'll be more comfortable if we get a win after this game, but it's it's not over till it's over, folks. Jones, good interception, alive to the danger. 
Uh, that was a very annoying giveaway by me. Tinto. Let's see how they half at 1 0. Jones. Now, how much added time will there be? The referee has decided. Edwards. Good job now staying Edwards. onside. Come on. Ooh. Just put his foot through that clearance. Ah, oh, the ball just wouldn't drop. So, 1 0, folks. Stone John scoring from a set piece. Andre Buku. Carlos Edwards actually looks like Carlos Edwards, folks, in this game. If we did a guess that Soko Warrior, I think Kenwin would have got that right. I'll pop that, put that in the link below. You can take a look at that. So it's 1 0. And, you know, Barbados is a very tough team. It's far from over. We created a lot more chances. It's at home. Easy Crawford looks a little bit different. So let's head straight into it. Let's check the fatigue of our players. I guess we get the halftime scores all over the world. That is cool. Using the real FIFA uh, calendar. So I did work the players out. So Tinto, yeah. So we probably may, depending on how the game goes, I could probably bring uh, push Highland up, or maybe bring in uh, Molino. We'll see. Who once again, like I said, is criminally, criminally underrated. Now, yeah, first half this game chair is comfortable, folks. Wow. Let's see what the second half so like I said, most likely they're going to try to pressure me, which hopefully will create something. See, as you can see. Edwards. Highland, Fairbold, Bucord. Okay, the ball on the way. that's a stupid giveaway by me. Nurse needs to keep possession here. Come on, this is where. See the player change. That almost led. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Oh my God. Away. All because of a stupid player change. I was controlling one guy, he switched, and then I had to control. I don't know how do you save from this thing. Let's try to save this. Oh. That's not, you know, I can't blame anybody except the game here. I mean, I was completely marking the guy. Player switches, so I have to now take a player that's further away, and then that's a penalty. That's crazy. Great. It's almost like if the AI was like, okay, it's going too smooth. Let's mess things up. So let, let's... A draw is not the worst thing in the world. But I would have really liked... Uh, you know, if we could get three points in this game. It's not over yet. Ooh. Nice try, Stu. Everson Boyce. Oh, crap. Nurse. See, that's a player change that I didn't want. Got caught with it. They're really knocking our players around. Unable to keep hold of the ball. Oh Christ! Nurse. That is a cool bounce. Really? You can see what he was trying to do. Just slip it through to him. Didn't manage to stop him. Tristan Paris. Okay, let's stepping it up a bit. Paris. Chance here. Not the cross that was needed. Comfortably clear. That's crazy. First time. I actually the aimed the other direction with that clearance. So let's calm down a little bit. And a score coming in from the game featuring uh, the Japanese. They've taken the lead in that one. Edwards. So we kind of lost a little bit of our... Uh, Cord. Initiative here. Ascendancy. Highland. Like I said, I'm not going to be chatty at all. Like, for example, that's a perfect example of how the passing is weird because I actually Highland. tried to put that ball wide and it went backwards, Bucord. which is counterproductive. And, you know, basically, another example. Now, Edwards. Highland. Oh, no. That was my bad. Good job. Gets the ball out on the flank. Okay, they're hustling us in the midfield a little bit. Edwards. Is Edwards. They definitely uh, stepped up their game. 
Like I said, a draw would not be a disaster, but I really think we should be getting three points at home. John. Oh, Christ. They are super much stronger than our players. Unless there's some button that I'm not pressing. Now Jones. Edwards. Highland. Did well I saw the down, intent, but not good. We have to be careful. We'll find out uh, how the Columbia game is going. They've scored an equaliser in that one, all square. Wow, the first touch is Paris. terrible. Alert play that had to make the interception. Maybe they can set something up with this. Yeah, defending pretty well. Okay, I think we should make Do some subs now. Looking to win the ball back. Tinto. We are not getting that through ball. Emery job. Will he find a man? Come on, Stern. Oh, it was offside, but you know. All right, so we're looking a little bit fatigued, as you can see. So let's let's bring on. Uh, let's let's. Buku is a little bit tired. So let's. I really like Buku. I don't want to take him off, but. Uh, Let's bring on Bucho, Hector for Tinto, and Stern looks a little bit tired. So I'm going to go for the win, Kevin Molino. So let's do that. Another good call from the linesman, just wandered a yard or two offside. That's alright, that's alright. So we were getting a little bit leggy in midfield. Ooh. Scrambled away to safety. This is promising. Got a chance. Come on, Kenwin. Oh my goodness. That's that's about the third time in this campaign I think we've hit the bar. Oh no, I didn't realize I was gonna get the ball there. Ah, oh, that was cool, man. That was cool. You have to be careful not to while chasing this goal. Another draw, folks. Another draw. I, I think we should have won this. This Paris guy is really a pain in our butts. Pain in the ass. But uh, that takes us to 8 points. Which is not ideal. But uh, it's one step closer to getting us out of this group. Um, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. We, we, sh we should have won this game. Let's see if the highlights have that. So right here, you know. Stone, you know, we I think we've created enough chances where we should have won this game. And that penalty was ridiculous. Good goal by Stone. Um, the penalty was basically as a result of me trying to switch players. And it switched to the wrong play. And then by the time I switched, it was over. Like, oh, I thought that should have been a goal. Good save by the keeper as well. Thought this could have been something. You know, blasted it wide. So, you know, I guess... You know, finishing is something we have to work on. But I think defense... Uh, I'm not good at saving penalties in this game at all. This is some of their chances. Now they started to put some pressure on us. I thought that should have been it. I thought that should have been it. Uh, that's just that's just frustrating, folks. So let's see where we stand on the table. So mathematically, uh, we were eight points. It's still not there, you know, like, you know, Bermuda could still get, you know, 3 and 3, 6 and 2, 8 and kind of get in there. So, you know, 10 points would have done it for us. So, I guess anything a draw would be great for us. That should be okay enough for us. So, that, there, there it is, folks. So, as it stands, 10 points, 8. We have Guyana up next, I believe. And uh, if we get a draw, I think it's pretty much set that we're in in the second round. So all these statisticians out there. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section below and join us. We'll have these one after the other.
and hopefully we make it if you guys have any suggestions let me know or gals out there uh you know we're always upgrading the live stream also be sure to check us out on our youtube twitch and facebook page be sure to check out our merch i'll put a link in the description below when you purchase that merch it goes towards helping kids who have been affected by covid19 and also if you want this groovy jerseys like this and others like that i uh, could head, head over to our page and you could get discounts via extv once you subscribe and send a comment about what you like it proves that you're following us guys get discounts and then for all the little questions in there subscribers we have a random draw so when you win you either get a jersey of your choice or a copy of fifa 22 so that's some good stuff folks so once again this is andrew soklala vxtv thank you for joining us on our trinidad tobago's fifa world cup road to brazil game campaign whatever thank you for joining us This is the champion DJ Bravo. I know it's testing times. I know most of you all stuck at home, not able to go, go to school, be with your friends. But I want to encourage each and every one of you to stay focused, stay positive, stay healthy. Find a way, even though you're at home, find a way. Take at least 10, 15 minutes of your day and do something positive, do an exercise, whether you go for a walk, a jog, sit-ups, squats, whatever it is. Be responsible, be safe, and take this down time to motivate yourself. Be active. From the champion, DJ Bravo.